It is no longer news that over 300 school children who were abducted in Castina State last week have regained their freedom after spending days in the adopters' hands. But the news that surrounds their release is still the talk of the town, as many people have said many things regarding their release. Just yesterday, the governor of Castina State, Right Honorable Aminu Belu Masari, has come out to speak while speaking as it regards the release of the schoolboys. He made it clear that the state government did not pay any money to the kidnappers, neither did the federal government pay them. According to the governor, he made it clear that all thanks should be accorded to the security agencies and the members of Miesiala Cattle Breeders Association for helping to negotiate and in making sure that they can, the kids regain their freedom. The good thing about all this is that the children have regained their freedom, no matter the means used. As for me, I don't think it matters, but it will be better if the same Yeti Alakatu Breeder Association come out once more and negotiate for the release of Leah Shaibu and the remaining Chibo guests who are still on captivity. Well, that is what uh, the government has been saying, especially the governor, that uh, no ransom was paid. And that is what has been causing uh, talks here and there. It's been chaos here and there. Uh, the coming in of a Miesiala is what people cannot really fathom. And just like people have been asking, that means they all know themselves. So if Miesiala negotiated this whole thing, who are these bandits? Because they are telling us that... Uh, it is no Boko Haram, according to what Leah Ma Lai Mohammed is telling us, that these people are not Boko Haram, that Boko Haram is just trying to uh, seek relevance because they've been decimated. Then who are these bandits? What do they stand for? Who are they? Because now bandits is another name. Because now they have been able to differentiate between bandits and the Boko Haram. Then the Boko Haram would know what they stand for, what they are asking for. Then these so-called bandits, who are they? Who is their leader? What are they fighting for? Now that you know that it's a criminal offense for somebody to have adopted or kidnapped people. For those who perpetrated this evil. Because as it is, the way it is, it is evil. So what is going to be done to them? Or is it all about, oh yes, we should just forget about it. Because the reason why things are still going the way they are, which we all are complaining about, is because we are not deep thinkers. Even if we see or no things we just like let us overlook it the most important things the most important thing is that they've been released no that's it. that shouldn't be they've been released then everybody should just go and sleep then next time something of that nature will come again you say don't don't worry don't worry forget about it so if Mieti Allah has become the negotiator now uh that means before you know it they are going to give they are going to give them a, a portfolio in government because this government, anything can happen. The more you look, the less you see. Negotiator, now Mieti Allah. Good and fine. That is a, a different topic altogether entirely. But who are these bandits? What are their, uh, what are they holding on to? What are they looking for? What exactly they want from the masses or the government? You say you paid nothing. Are they not supposed to be arrested? The people you are negotiating with, with which means, and you cannot arrest them, you know them. You see, you see the way, when people come out and begin to talk, you say, oh, they are too this, they are too that. But the, these so-called northerners, they are the ones giving, giving opportunity to people who are always coming after them and saying all of those things. And they prove it. They prove it right to the people. They've never proved it, proved wrong in all these, their dealings. When it comes to people, some, you know, crime that is, against humanity you come out and pamper them you come out and begin to tell us what is not abnormal things you expect people to just accept them like that now let them begin to negotiate for other people as well let them negotiate for other people who are in captivity as well well if you say no ransom was paid and no prisoners were exchanged those terrorists just kidnapped the boys for recreation Foolish people easily think everybody is foolish, so they lie foolishly. Messi Allah has denied involving in negotiating for the schoolboys. Yes, because the 
the governor's aide came out and said Miesiala is involved. And their leaders came out and said no. They don't know anything about it that they should go and ask the government. So what are we talking about? The army has come out to say, oh, they are not involved in the negotiations. So who are we to believe? But people just say that, oh, the most important thing, the children have been released. Then let's let just forget it. Let everybody just go and sleep. Before you know it, worse things will happen. Let's forget it. Before you know, and we'll not be able to deal with such things. BAT Allah is denying, the Nigerian is denying, and Boko Haram is claiming responsibility the government is saying no it is not them it is the bandits then who are the bandits what are they fighting for what are they agitating for questions that need answer negotiation money was not involved what did they negotiated with what is the value of life of a boy and a cow in the north hmm no negotiation. This is fake news. <laughs> Just like they always say, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. What do we have to call all of this? What do we have to say to all of this? Now they are jubilating the, the Buhari's aide, Basha Ahmad. He said, oh, some people are not happy that the boys were released. So people should not ask questions. They were released. They were not released. People should not ask questions. On what circumstance? Now you are coming out to tell us the Miyeti Allah. And we know what Miyeti Allah stands for. And the government is trying to say they know nothing about Miyeti Allah. Who is Miyeti Allah? What do they stand for? What do they stand for? People who are involved in taking other people's lives. Of course, that is why they said uh, Bari 2 is their patron. Of course, people cannot just differentiate all of these people from all these atrocities. You can't just differentiate them, and you don't expect people to believe all this, uh, all these uh, cock and bull stories they are bringing to the public. You bring those kind of public, you think people will not ask questions, and that's why they are always find it difficult to align with the southerners because people are always people who are intelligent cannot just take everything, uh, just like that. You talk, uh, they should just go. They should just go. Nobody should think about the possible things that could have happened. And once they talk, you think that their own is too much. Oh, they are not satisfied. Oh, they are this and that. Oh, they are trying to politicize everything. Oh, they want to remove Buhari. You ask too much questions. No, if you have your people who have that there, that is their own cup of tea. They don't ask questions. You don't expect people from other regions to reason the same way. You have to answer all those questions. And you have to prove it beyond reasonable doubt that, that, yes, indeed, you are saying the right thing. You can't just think everybody is an entity and you know, let them just go and sleep. There are questions that these people must answer. No, you want people to just clap hands. Oh, yeah, you have done this, you have done that. Now they are thanking me, Allah. So, guys, what do you really think? Let us know in the comment section.